This is a Navajo site built by Navajo people here. Uh, these types of sites, the Pueblito sites, are built uh, between the very, very late AD 1600s and about 1750. And this is a classic example of one of the smaller Pueblitos. And uh, it's, uh, it's quite spectacular in terms of its setting on the boulder on which it's positioned. This was built uh, for a nuclear family. I think you've got mom, dad, the kids, uh, and uh, maybe an aunt or an uncle, or maybe, maybe grandma or grandpa. And so I think the, the size of the family unit that would have used this is pretty small. They literally had to use the hand and toe holes that you see carved in the upper sections of the boulder to get up there. This rope was placed by hikers to scramble up here off of the, the pine tree log that you see leaning up against the boulder. It was not placed by the agency, so it's not tested on a regular basis. Uh, so we don't know anything about its, its attachment and its structural integrity. Uh, and so I have to advise people that uh, to test out the rope, they go at their own risk. The position and the emplacement of Pueblitos in these defensive localities is probably not going to stand up to Spanish might and armament. And that uh, in, in this particular case, a, uh, uh, a armed Spanish military contingency would overrun the structure in short order. But because of its position uh, and it's very difficult to get up there, probably mom and the kids could keep out uh, a small group of raiders uh, with uh, throwing rocks down on them. We believe, for example, that the construction of the Pueblitos is a result of not perceived reprisals by the Spanish, but mostly a result of the day-to-day -day threats of Ute raiding into the region. And, and as, as Utes are coming in and raiding Pueblitos, they're not risking their lives for a handful of corn or a few trinkets. What they want is they want to capture a slave. They want to get a young woman, a child, anybody that they can hold captive because that's probably the prize that they could get somebody along the margins of the Rio Grande Valley to trade for a horse. In terms of our preservation work, we want to maintain the structure in a way that makes people feel that it is their first experience here and that they're the first people here. 